Hey guys, welcome back to Mommy's World where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I am here today with a bunch of My Life As Dolls from Walmart. And I would like to say a huge thank you to Walmart for sending me all of these My Life As Dolls for free so I could tell you guys about them because I am so excited about them. And, and since I learned about them and then, and then I went and I like walked around the store and I like, oh my God, they're amazing. Um, and so I've got a few different My Life As Dolls to show you. And then there's a whole bunch of My Life As Dolls in Walmart stores and also on walmart.com. And there's one My Life As Doll that, well, there's, there's a couple. I showed you the Survivor Doll, the Cancer Survivor Doll. Um, that I think it's really cool that you can get her in stores because normally you have to order those, you know, online. So I think it's really cool that a child that's going through chemotherapy can go to Walmart and, and you know, actually pick out their own doll. Like, that was just special to me. There's another doll that they make that's really, really unique. Um, and she's a gymnast with a prosthetic leg. Because, you know, there are, um, there's a whole, you know, Paralympics uh, world out there of people who compete and do amazing things in the Olympics um, with prosthetics, with different, um, you know, disabilities and struggles. And, and I just think that is so cool. It's not just the doll with the prosthetic. She's a gymnast with a prosthetic leg. That is so, so, so awesome. So anyway, today I am gonna to show you a few, just a few. I've got one, two, three versions, so three three types of dolls, and then I've got them in, in two different versions. So the first one I have here, sitting right here, this is my life as a class president doll. Now there is also, so I unboxed one and didn't unbox one so you could see what they are in, look like in box, okay? So this is, let me, I gotta look at my prices. So um, the my life as class president dolls, hi girls, <laughs> are only $24.88 at Walmart and on walmart.com. Um, so this is what they look like in the box. And here's the back of the box here. And then it says down here, it's got a little poster. It says vote for me, vote for me. And then you can cut out this poster, which I did and then promptly lost. Um, and she can be handing it out to her friends. There are actually three versions of this doll. So there's the blonde version that we have here. There's the sort of a redhead, ooh, I like her. And then there's the African-American version here. Um, and they're absolutely adorable. So I have a story that I've made up in my head <laughs> about my two. <laughs> My life is class president dolls. I made up, yes, I made up a story. Um, so this is Sophie and this is Maya. I have named my dolls. Um, so Sophie and Maya have been best friends since kindergarten. And they are now um, in their freshman year of high school together, I decided. And um, they are, instead of um, fighting against each other to be class president, they decided to together um, run as class president and they would be co-presidents because they each have a unique perspective um, on what it is to be a freshman and what it is to be a student in the school and they didn't want you know people to have to make a choice between one or the other they wanted people to have both of those very unique perspectives and so they ran together as co-presidents and won mm -hmm. so that's the story that I made up for Maya what I'm sorry for Sophie and Maya <laughs> And they might have their own channel. Everybody's gonna have their own channel. So let's take a closer look at these awesome dolls. Um, at some point um, after the holidays, I'll do a comparison of all of the 18 inch doll bodies so you can see what they're like. Um, I just really don't have time for that right now and I have no desire to do that right now, quite honestly. Uh, but I will let you know that um, the My Life As dolls are, um, you know, they're a hard plastic and then they have hard plastic um, torsos down to their middles. So right in the middle here, they're a little squishy. Kind of like how I'm a little squishy right in the middle. <laughs> are you squishy in the middle? You really want to talk about that on, on, on YouTube where the whole world can hear it? Nothing wrong with being squishy in the middle, girl. It means you give good hugs. <laughs> so um, let's take a look at her up close. Here we go. So there she is. She has, uh, they both come with all of the, well, all three of the My Life As Class President dolls come with red glasses. They all have the same outfit. Um, I really love the hair. It is like super thick. It's rooted hair. It is super, super thick and silky, like, 
this is a lot of hair here, people. And then she's got this cool um, school, wait, did I? I didn't unkajinker it, sorry. Oh, hashtag so profesh. You really should cut these, you shouldn't just yank on them like that. Okay, um, she's got this really cool, let me get your hair out of the way, girl. You got so much hair. School vest on, and look, she's got all her patches. Are you, oh wait, oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. I was like, are you a Pokemon trainer? So she's got her different, um, I can't see. Wait, I'm old, I need the glasses. Let me look at your patches so I know what you're good at. Oh, you are horrible at this. Oh, somebody call my froggy stuff. Okay, stop. Um, so you've got, oh, you my life as beta club. Oh, she's a member of the key club. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And so this comes off. This is separate, so you can take this off her. So she can just be wearing her gray shirt, like, you know, when she wants to leave school. But what I really love are these skirts. I love kind of the red, white, and blue polka dot thing going on with these skirts and then the tulle. And by the way, they do have underwear on. They have white underwear on. You know, I'm like, if people have been around for a long time, they know I'm always checking to see if dolls have underwear. <laughs> because I'm weird. No, because it's a thing. Because, you know, dolls that wear dresses should be having some undies on, man. Um, and then here she is from the back. May I pull up your hair so everyone can see the back of this beautiful outfit. I absolutely love, love, love these outfits. I'm, I'm in love with the skirt. I kind of want the skirt. And I think that um, my child, when they were little and they used to wear skirts and dresses and things, you know, anybody who knows them knows they would have been rocking this skirt. All right, so let me put you guys to the side so I can get on to our next dolls. Okay. Now, I opened both of these because I have a, an extreme lack of boy dolls in my collection. So, you know what, I don't need this. This is actually in my way. Go for you. Crash, boom, bang. Okay, so these are the My Life as Outdoorsy Boy Dolls. And um, let me see, I think that, wait, let me look at the box. Yes, there are only two versions of the My Life out my life as outdoorsy boy so there's uh the brunette boy with fair skin and then there's the african african-american boy so there's only two versions there is no red-headed or blonde version sorry boys let's be honest people don't buy, buy that many boy dolls so we're really going to make them in like 10 different versions let's be real but all right so here's my boys and um they have these really really cool um, kind of, they look like puffer jackets, and I have to say, they're actually like a little bit puffy. And then underneath, they've got these cool shirts on that say, adventure. Are you ready for adventure? We are so ready for adventure. Uh. Oh, God, don't you love when boys do that? It's like, what is that? <laughs> the chest bumping thing. I just don't get it. It's because you're not a boy. Okay, that was very sexist of you. You just, you were just sexist to us, woman. It's true. <laughs> you ever notice how it's okay for girls to be sexist, but it's not okay for boys to do it? We call that a double standard, ma'am. Thank you. So were you guys like Boy Scouts and stuff? Oh, totally. We've been friends since kindergarten. Everybody's been friends since kindergarten in my world. Okay, so they've got these really, really cool um, shirts on. And the shirts are a little bit longer um, than the vest, so that's cool. And then they have these really cool very thick, I have to say, twill khaki pants. Like these are rugged, rugged pants. These are adventure pants. And then they've got their hiking boots. What I really like about the ruggedness of, of these dolls, um, and they've both got rooted hair, by the way. They've both got beautiful, beautiful hair. Oh, don't be talking about my hair, mom. I'm sorry. So, and I like that his hair is a little bit longer. It's a little unkempt, you know, cause he's an outdoorsy boy. Um, so here's his hair. Yes, your hair is, and you have beautiful blue eyes. Oh my God, make it stop, make it stop. Oh please, you're adorable. You're absolutely adorable. And I love that it looks like, like, like he looks like a boy. <laughs> you know, like sometimes in 18 inch dolls, they, the boy's face is almost just the same as the girl's face, but they just cut the hair. Um, but these guys have their own facial mold. They stand up really well on their own. The boys, by the way, are not squishy in the middle. That's because we got six pack abs. Okay, whatever. Um, and let's take a look at this guy over here. You are so handsome. Look at you. And then he's got gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Oh, it's so soft. Oh God, stop. Sorry. 
Sorry, you are a handsome dude. You both are. But what I was starting to say, what I like is that the clothes are really rugged, and I like that the dolls are all plastic because I think if um, you know you wanted if kids wanted to play a little bit more rough and tumble with these guys, they could, um, and uh, the clothes would hold up, and the um, and the bodies would hold up. So you know, if you wanted to go on outdoorsy adventures with these guys. Speaking of which, and now this is not just for boys, as a matter of fact, it isn't even a boy on the picture. Um, this is one of the play sets that I received and I did not show this um, when I was in the store because they didn't have it in the store that I was in. This is the My Life as Radio Controlled Self-Balancing Board. So this is um, a really great idea for um, a Christmas or Hanukkah present for someone who collects 18 inch dolls. Any 18 inch doll will fit in this hoverboard. And this is radio controlled, folks. This is an actual motorized hoverboard. Look, you've got the joystick, it comes with the helmet and all of the pads and your doll just sticks their feet in and goes to town. Um, it, is, it is set up so that it, um, it can also be a scooter, um, so you can put a handle in. And we're gonna play with this probably after the holidays uh, because I wanna take it outside and it has been raining and it's all smushy and gross outside. But I really wanna show you like going like down the sidewalk and stuff like that. And let me tell you how much this is. Um, the balance board is only $34.97 and by the way the boy dolls were $24.97. So as I said while I was in store, like the thing, I love many things about My Life As, but one of the things is the affordability. So if you're in the home stretch of your Christmas shopping or if many of, of many years I was just beginning around this time, um, yeah, definitely consider getting these um, for your kids or yourself. <laughs> You have no idea. I'm like, I'm already a kid at Christmas. And when the boxes from Walmart come, I'm like, oh my God, what did they send me now? Um, okay, so next up, I'm trying not to take forever and make this a super long video um, because I tend to just talk on and on. It's my life as a scientist doll. Now, these dolls come with accessories, which we are going to take a look at. Um, so these are more deluxe dolls. So they are $29.97. Yes, that's right. They're more deluxe. So they're $29.97 instead of $24.97. Oh my gosh. Um, so I have two of these. Mm. Um, so these come in two versions. They come in a blonde girl, a blonde scientist uh, with light skin, and then an African-American scientist with some really gorgeous natural hair. Um, and uh, I put her hair up into sort of like, um, like, a, like a bun ponytail kind of thing because I am incredibly bad with hair um, and even worse with textured hair. So I didn't want to like turn it into a frizz ball when I took it out of the box. Um, so there is also, <clears throat> wait one second, pardon me, sweetheart, go down here. There is also, and I will be opening this up separately when I do play sets, there is also a My Life as Science desk play set um, so they can be like all sciencey, um, but also just in general, any of your My Life as dolls who are into science would really love this play desk play set. Okay, go over here. All right, so let's take a closer look at this lovely lady right here. Um, I need to put on my glasses. All right, go up to the camera so everybody can see your beautiful face. Now remember, they are My Life As dolls, and I forgot to show this earlier, so they do have sleep eyes. So they don't lie down and stare up at the ceiling like they have chronic insomnia, which is very nice. Um, and they do, I, I don't know that I mentioned this before, they have rooted eyelashes, which you know I love me some eyelashes. Um, beautiful, sweet, a little bit of blush in the cheek. I love the color of her lips. Loving the eyebrows. The hair is gorgeous, gorgeous. There is so much hair. And as I said, it is textured like all the way through. And so I don't have the right kind of, I think I need like a, like a pick. I only have like a brush. And I knew that that was not the right, th I knew enough to know not to take a brush to this. Um, so I put it up into this like cute, like giant poofy ponytail. I'm loving that they come with an ID badge because any lab is going to have, to, you're gonna have to wear your ID badge at all times. And I love this, you can put their name in there. So, you know, if I wanted to make, if I wanted to decide that this is Maya all grown up and she's a scientist now, I could put that on there. Um, love the white lab coat. Love it, love it, love it. Wait, I didn't uncajinker everything. Ah, 
All right, I want to take off, I want to be able to show them how cute your, you, your dress is underneath here. Because just because you're a scientist doesn't mean you don't wear cool clothes. As a matter of fact, it means that you do wear cool clothes. And the dress that these girls wear is amazing. Okay, so, all right, she's been working all day in the lab. She's got her white lab coat. She's got her ID badge, right? She's got these cool, notice, notice the sparkle. Like the stars, maybe? And then it's time to, are you guys gonna go out? Yeah, we're gonna go out, we're done. Oh look, I forgot to show you this. We're gonna go out now, we're gonna go out and we're gonna, we're gonna go have some dinner and maybe do some dancing. You know, cause scientists can have fun too, that's right. Okay, and now she is ready to go out and dance and have a gorgeous fun dinner, a gorgeous dinner. What does that even mean? to have a really great dinner with her friends and do some dancing, but wait, look at the dress. It's still science-y, but look at this. This makes the whole outfit. This, this takes this outfit from day into night. Look at it, I love 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 it so much. Now, can I show everybody your daytime work accessories? Yeah, sure, but I'm off duty. Mm -mm. No more science for me. There you go, there she is. You're so beautiful. All righty, now let me show you all the cool stuff that comes with that. I, I pre-opened all of this and I put it in a plastic bag. Now, that's a great way, parents, to store things. I do two, one of two things. I either use Ziploc bags or I also use um, like uh, Ziploc tubs too. Okay, so she comes with a Bunsen burner. All right, who knows what a Bunsen burner is? And then she comes with, of course, you've got to have your safety glasses, right? And they go on over her head and they've got the, the elastic so they don't fall off while you're doing your chemistry experiments. She also comes with a beaker gotta have a beaker and a funnel because you didn't, shouldn't just be splashing stuff all over the place. And then you can put your beaker on your Bunsen burner and blow up the lab. She also comes with a scale because it's very important to weigh and measure everything in science and chemistry. Now, we've got to have lab safety rules. So we've got the lab safety rule poster. I think that is so cool because I've pretty much never seen a lab that doesn't have one of these. So that's very cool. She's got her, mommy's holding it upside down, chemistry book. You gotta have your chemistry book, you know, just to refer back to. And you've gotta have a pencil so you can write everything down on your clipboard because no lab is complete until they have a clipboard. It's very important to have a clipboard. And then here on the clipboard is the lab plan. Yes, and I love the clipboard in the pencil. It's so cute. So um, this is the My Life as a Scientist doll. As I said, she's, oh, and I forgot, there's a beaker of blue stuff. What does the blue stuff do? You do not want to know. Okay, we're just going to put that over there. So these are uh, the My Life as dolls that were sent to me for free by Walmart. So I could tell you all about them. I think they are awesome and adorable. I kind of like want this dress, even though I'm not a scientist. I'm going to put her lab coat and her ID badge in there too. Um, and uh, let me grab the other ones that I took out of the box. Come here, come here, come here, dude. Dude! He was adventuring behind my chair. <laughs> it's an adventure back there, woman. Do you ever clean? Pretty much no. All right, so here we go. Here's the gang. Wait, get over here. Uh, uh. Here you go. Here's the gang. Hi! Um, so these dolls can be found at Walmart and walmart.com. And I am so grateful to Walmart for sending all of these gorgeous, gorgeous dolls to me. And next we will be showing you the My Life As play sets. And they are amazing, mind-boggling, adorable, and you mean like my dress? Exactly like your dress. I'm so into this dress. I love this dress. This reminds me almost like a like a her universe dress. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. So thank you all so much for watching. And um, blah! look at look at the gang. The gang's all here, man. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Walmart, and I will see you guys again real soon. Love you. Bye.